Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. I welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is ring chain tautomerism. Generally, such kind of topics I think majority of you prefer to avoid. But since nowadays question there is no assurance that where the question will come, so it is always better to learn the topic. Actually, this is a very short topic, and you know this. But you don't know the terminology. The thing is that in exam could be asked what type of tautomerism is this one. But this is the reaction is given. What type of name? Four or five names you have to select. If you know this thing, it is very easy. Within ten seconds you can find out the answer. But if you don't know <coughs> this, and another thing from exams, for examiner point of view, lots of excess questions are provided. So nobody can blame them. But this is a very good point. I believe just read once. It could be a very short lecture. So just read once. No need to memorize. I believe if you read once, you you can remember this. You don't need to because you are dealing always this thing. Okay. So that's why I believe you should learn this. So lots of interesting tall new terminology and explanation you learn in this video. So please watch until the end. Don't skip. Otherwise you may miss some unique logic and understand. Okay, fine. So, see, this is a ring chain tautomerism. Means it's a tautomerism between ring and chain. And this type of tautomerism belongs to one name or study. This is prototropy. Okay. For example, prototropy means shifting of proton. Shifting of proton. Okay. For example, if you think ketoenol, what is happening here? This hydrogen is shifted, so this is also belongs to a prototropic. Okay, so similarly, this is a prototropic. And what? <coughs> so, what is actually happening in this case? See that. See that this is a this is a hydroxy carbonyl compound. And in such cases, I always recommend try to understand the number and ring formation. See. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I made mistake. This should be means it should be five hydroxy. Okay. So it is a one is five hydroxy and one is four hydroxy. So five hydroxy pentanal. So this is pentanal and it is four hydroxy butanal. Okay, means carbon chain number four. Now question: If you we know that aldehyde undergo acetal and hemiacetal formation, so it is intramolecular cyclic hemiacetal. Okay, so in this case, how many rings could form six? Because this can attack it and it can open. So what it can result? It's a six-member ring. And one member is hydrogen, it, and after shifting of proton, so it is produced initially after the attack. So after shifting of the proton, it produces this is OH. Okay, so this is the term is intramolecular hemiacetal. I have <coughs> also discussed about hemiacetal and acetals previously. If you have any difficulty in understanding, please watch those videos. Okay, so this is hemiacetal, or you can say semiacetal. This name is not correct. This semi word is not correct. But for your understanding, you can keep this thing in mind. It's a semi semiacetal. It's not completely acetal. It's a half acetal. Okay. So similar thing here. So in this case, five member ring can form. This. So it will result in this. So actually. In this compound, if you keep this compound, if you store this, you will find the property of carbonyl as well. I Means there is CO, but along with this, and additionally, this is in equilibrium. Okay. So how to represent this thing? So try to understand. See what was previously happening. This and this group and this group was previously we are dealing. So right now they are converted into. O C O H. 
so in this way you can represent them okay so this is the representation by the way since it's an equilibrium you should re so this is the way to represent them fine now question is i have given you two examples okay so actually this is intramolecular hemiacillation actually why this is prototropic see the proton from here is shifted to this so ultimately this is so from here to here shifting and in this case see the proton is here shifted from here to here okay this so now question is if i compare about different rings means this is 5 hydroxy 4 hydroxy which one in which case equilibrium means how much shifted right side in which case better means this thing you can explain based on the stability of this so in which in a particular case if this is more stable any one of them so equilibrium will be preferred to remain in the shift less side so this is the thing but before going to detail just keep one thing in mind that a open chain compound is converted into a closed chain compound fine that's why ring chain it is chain this is ring so ring chain tautomerism you can explain fine now now the question is this is uh, five so a four member ring uh, sorry a <coughs> five and six member ring is produced now in the case, in this case which one is most stable see the equilibrium constant here is 16 here 8 so what does it mean that the con uh, extent or amount of this six member ring in the equilibrium is more compared to the five question five so six member ring is more stable so six member is stable why because the strain is minimum and this is not this you may actually you should consider the chair form in order to understand so in this case angle is close to 108 uh, <coughs> 109 degree that's the sp3 angle but in this case some angle strain is there around 107 degree so that's why it is little less compared to this point number one so if this is six member and this is five member if you go below uh, five member that is four member or three member this doesn't prefer why because ring strain so strain if you take 7 8 like 11 so what is the consequence there is also a ring strain there is also a ring strain or internal strain you may consider okay internal strain increasing the ring size second point that there is a factor which we are saying in this case delta s is almost zero okay actually delta is not exactly zero some entropy loss is there because open chain is converted into closed chain so restriction of rotation is there but that is not significantly high up to 6 but if you go beyond 6 what happens this long chain is very long so this entropy change is a significant factor so point number one strain second is loss of entropy so these two factors are responsible for lesser extent of this ring chain automerization for higher rings okay so what is the application of this theory see carbohydrates carbohydrates they are so actually you see carbohydrates c6 h12 o6 they prefer to remain in ring form not chain form okay why because they can do this ring chain automerism actually the aldehyde group of carbohydrate doesn't remain in aldehyde either hemiacetal or if it is polymer it's an acetal so this is the application of this uh, ring chain automerism okay so another application another example if i want to give you i can give you one example that is that is you may consider that okay let me write this Okay, look at this example. In this case, see, this is a this is a nitrogen cyclic compound, monocyclic one. So I have drawn this way. Examiner can draw in different ways, such that it is very difficult to predict. But keep this information in mind, such so that your common sense help you to understand. So this is nitrogen. So now it can attack easily, and it can open. So what it result? Then this proton will be after attack. It will become positive. Means what do I mean to say? this NH having a plus charge this oxygen minus charge consequently what will happen that this proton will be shifted from here to here and ultimately this compound will be generated 
So this is an another example of ring chain tautomerism. So what we have learned today? We have learned today about ring chain tautomerism, which is an example of prototropy means proton shift. And what are the factors responsible for this? And in which direction entropy will be uh, will remain depends on the loss of entropy, ring structure, and ring strain. Fine. And as an example, we have represent the carboxyl group means glucose. For example, prefers to remain in ring form rather than a chain form. This is one of the example. Another example is a very small molecule. This. So this is the end of this discussion. I hope you have learned some interesting information. And as well as logical understanding. So if you think this channel is really helpful for you, please help my channel to grow. First of all, subscribe my channel, Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule, and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. Secondly, share these lectures with your friends so that they can also enjoy the benefit. And indirectly, it will satisfy me also because my work is beneficial for many people. And most importantly, please like the video and make some good comments to encourage me to make such kind of videos for you. So thank you, stay happy, stay best, see you in my next video.